Ghosts. They're a concept that not quite everyone can grasp. Ghosts. They are beings that are invisible. Ghosts. Ghosts. Those things some claim to see, but never without a hint of skepticism. Like, like me. me. Always around, but rarely noticed. Living, Living underneath the rays of, of loneliness. loneliness. But real loneliness, loneliness is not necessarily limited to when you are alone. In fact, real, real loneliness, loneliness lurks up behind you while you're mid-conversation, whispering, reminding you that you're temporarily there to fill the space of someone else. Like those cheap off-brand snacks your mother buys when the real ones are too expensive or unavailable. Real, real loneliness is when the humming of silence becomes overwhelmingly loud. Real, real loneliness, loneliness makes a home of your mind. It's whispers infecting it like a virus that, that just, just won't, won't go, go away. away. You're alone. You can't get rid of me. I'm the only one who cares. Real, Real loneliness. loneliness is when even the broadest of places seem too small to include you. You, who feels invisible in a room crowded with people. You, who hides behind fake smiles and white lies. You, who seems to have been forgotten by the world. I've tried to fit in into this cast of a show called Society, but it seems as if the script was written for everyone, everyone but, but me. And I hate it. I hate being trapped between the dark pair of wings of a bird called loneliness. I, I don't, don't want, want to exist. exist. I want, want to be, be alive. alive. I want my heartbeat to increase from euphoria, not from the fear that I could disappear at any given moment without anyone ever noticing. I want the glimmer in my eyes to be placed by the stars that bubble up in my stomach, erupting out of my mouth in the form of obnoxious laughter, not from the stubborn itch of a heartache. I want the dark mist of my mind to be a thing of my nightmares, not my reality. And I cannot fathom why that is so much to ask, for I never have and never will beg for the spotlight. However, some, some sunshine, sunshine would be, be nice. nice. To lose, to become unable to find something or someone. But there are four types of losses in this cycle. The first was losing identity. The second was losing life. The third was losing faith. And the last was losing a father. But, but the lies, lies, and deemed lights blinded the four lost souls of vulnerability. The, the first. The void has been punched through, the burnt wrinkled derm as a drawn across my bloody fists. My bitter, aching soul, the one heart that's been hung since day one from the core that's opened the doors to strangers, the one lover, and the one and only root that's been holding me down from reality. But the gossips and kisses spread upon the pages like made-up sentences that spelt into nothingness. The cowardly foolishness of remorse and regret stained the pages with the essence of my tears that ran down my face as I scripted each and every single line in repetition. This is my life. This is my life. This is my a lie. The, the girls, girls who stole, the girls who lied, the girls who cried, the girls who did it in a repetition. Why did I have to be one of them? The, the second. second. Jumping over barbed wire fences, my hands covered in crimson red blood. Scratches and scars roam my body. Now they all come from a story. They tell us we're not allowed to be here. Back, Back off, get lost, get, get out, out of here. You, you better watch out. Going forwards, my eyes fixate on the direction ahead. Take one glance behind, and all that there see is lost souls, hazy fumes. It's a disaster. We're never taking a step back. Picking up the pace, the area of a new region can be seen. Now we run as fast as we can, as if we took the role of being in a rapid fire, our footsteps covering the aching floor of the earth. Now we're here, leaving our old life behind and not knowing what to expect from this new one. Lost souls everywhere all around the world. Some of us might be the delinquents. We're not the only ones, are we? The, the third. third. Life is bright. The sound of giggles echo. A girl and her unicorn go on adventures and nothing and no one can get in their way. They would skip through a rose field every morning at sunrise. The soft colors in the sky, the dewy flowers, and the sweet fragrance made her feel safe and peaceful. And then I grew up. I lost my unicorn. My rose food was burned down as the fire inside me died. My fire killed by the people who told me I wasn't enough. People who pointed out every flaw I had as if they were playing spot the difference between me and perfection. My new life full of screams no one can hear and tears no one can see. A, A broken, broken heart, heart beats in my chest. Wars against the demons in my head. Words of agony escape my lips. Words screaming. Why me? The fourth. Look at what you did. Look at the pot of tears you left me in to drown. And if you still can't see, look, look a little, little closer. closer. Until your body sucks into that black hole. Get sucked all the way down into your eyes land upon my broken heart. 
your, your cuts and scars digging deeper and deeper into that red heart-shaped nucleus in my body. All those sleepless nights I spent praying on that king-sized bed for you to come back home, that king-sized bed we used to share, all those time-consuming prayers seemed to make my eye bags look like black clouds. So that concealer that I put on every morning will do anything but conceal. Regret! Regret. Just maybe if I tried convincing you to stay when you walked down the steps around home. But of course, all I did was cry, cry, and cry, only making that put up tears deeper. All because of that darn feeling. Pain. Pain. Why did you leave me, Papa? Pain. 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 <laughs> Pain is the reason I lost myself. Pain, pain is the reason why I lost my life. Pain, pain is the reason why I lost my fire. And pain, pain is the reason why I lost my papa. To lose, to, to become, become unable, unable to find something or someone. But losses, losses come with gains. Pain is the reason why I regain my true identity. Pain is the reason why I gained back my life. Pain is the reason why my fire was reignited. Pain is the reason why I gained independence. And, and pain, pain is, is the reason, reason why, why we are united. are united. No one, no one, no matter how many times it was said, could tell me that I was safe. They said no matter how deep down I'd be falling, they would always catch me. But their waiting hands seemed to disappear almost every time, and I fall through a seemingly endless hole. I lose hope over and over again until there is no hope to lose. Don't, Don't tell, tell me I'm okay when you know that I'm not. When you looked into the night sky, you saw how bright the stars were, and you were happy. My depression is like that night sky, except it is darker. The few stars left slowly fading night after night until everything is darkness. Always alone because no one understands. Don't tell me this gets easier or to get over it. It doesn't work that way. My face, I think is what tells the world who I am. Perfect skin and pretty lips, long eyelashes and lovely hair, showing that I'm the perfect person. Skin with red bumps, small thin eyelashes, lips that were bitten when I worried what I looked like, what I was thought of. The me that tells people that I'm not beautiful or wanted. So every day, I have to make an effort to do my face. I make it the way I want, the way an artist creates a masterpiece. My makeup is my paint, my face is my canvas, and I try to create the perfect me. I change myself completely because I cannot stand the way I look. The makeup I use fades away and I feel less beautiful. More of this and of that, but nothing seems to work and I always come back to the beginning. This is not me, but I don't have the courage to show the world who I really am. Every day, I have to brush my hair. The hair my hands went through about a million times when I got worried or stressed out. My anxiety is like the sun. It hides between clouds on some days and burns me alive on others. But I always know it's there. I think this world has too many problems, and they're all pushing down on me until I'm crushed and gone. Everything is already to me, and my heart hasn't beat normally since I was little, when I, knew, when I knew nothing about this world. It was open and full of unknown things. I was innocent. But it drowned me in fear as I was wishing to float like a ball in the water of life except my life is all storms and big waves. Now, I never really feel the calmness of water. My, my life, life has been like no others. I try, I try not, not to be who I am. I try to be happy and see the light in the day. I try not to care what other people will say. I try to erase my worries, hoping they'll fade away. But, but I've never lived in any other way. My mind has only run on a certain track, knowing every left and right it has to take. People tell me to change. But, but it's, it's not, not as easy as wearing new clothes every, every day. day. The black in my sky is permanent ink. The makeup is here so people won't rethink. My mind is like an unclogable sink. So, so I, I need, need a lot more, more than, than the word change. Think, think of what is out there beyond the sky of depression, out in the unexplored universe, all those stars glimmering with hope. Think, think of what people will say when they see my blank canvas, when they see me. Think, think of what could happen when for a change, the sun leaves and the calm rain pours down, creating soft ripples in the steady ocean. Think, Think of how, how different we could be if we really thought hard about it. The permanent dark could be filled with bright stars that could start shining again. The blank canvas could show people that no mistakes were made when I was designed. I can show the truth. The sun could mix with rain, creating rainbows that reflect off the water that I stopped drowning in. The, the earth, earth could, could start, start spinning again, again and the, the seasons could flow. Life could resume. resume. Think about how all this time I've been wanting to tell myself that I can fill the hole up so that I'll never have to fall through it again. How hope could save me and the gaping hole could disappear without a trace. 
Think of the countless people finally understanding the problems that lie within me. Think, Think about, about how all this time, time that's, that's what, what I've been, been wanting, wanting to tell myself. myself. You can't be me in arm wrestling. Yes, I can. You can't achieve your goal of being the strongest woman. Yes, I can if I keep trying. You can't run a marathon because you're weak. Yes, I can if I believe I'm strong. Women shouldn't have rights. That's wrong. People underestimate us. They think that we shouldn't be equal with anyone else and that we should and that and that we can't do anything just because we're a woman. Well, let me tell you something. You're, you're wrong. wrong. People tell us that we are weak, and whatever we do, men are better. But we can do anything men can do, and if you can't see that, it's time you should. We are being judged by everyone around us. People say that we can't become the president, or that we should be at home taking care of our children. We feel like tiny mice getting, tra getting trampled on and getting crushed. But no one seems to care about it. They just go along with it like it's okay, but, but it's, it's not. not. We need to prove that uh, we need to prove that we are capable of doing anything we want to achieve in life. We need to prove that the things that people say about us is wrong. We need to prove that as long as we keep our heads held high and we are capable oh, <laughs> we are able to do anything that you say we can't do just because we are women. We are women. We are strong, fierce, and independent, and we don't need anyone to <laughs> We don't need anyone to put us down and tell us that we can't do anything. Just because we're women. Well let me Well let me tell you a little secret. We, we can, can and we will. will. Remember those times when everything was fine. Remember those times when we used to try. Remember those times when we used to shine. But now all we do is say goodbye. We used to have these late night talks. And always had these late night walks. What happened? How, How did we throw all of this away? I honestly don't know what to say. Every laugh. Every smile. Every hug. Every moment. Every fight. Every tear. All, all forgotten. forgotten. What, what happened? happened? When all the sad memories come flooding your mind, drowning you in your thoughts, and all you can think about is how the word friendship turned to family. Sure, the word friendship is strong. However, family is stronger. Family never lets go. Family never leaves you alone. Abandoned. Broken. Broken. Three years of disconnection. And still had a strong bond. Yet one tiny disagreement. And all the good memories have gone to waste. I will just have to accept the fact that it's over. Forgotten. Forgotten. Done, Done with. with. The, the end. end. Mom, worried about me with my red eyes and pale skin. Dad, confusion written all over his face when I told him what happened. The day everything changed, all I could do is cry. Eyes puffed, nose blocked, stuffing my face in my pillow, wanting to end my pain for good. We're, We're tired of the aching, aching pains in our chest. chest. We're tired of the constant feeling of regret. We're tired of being asked, what's wrong? Are you okay? No, we're not okay. We will never be okay until all of this stops. People say that nothing has changed and that we're confusing. But to us, it's a big deal. From loving like sisters to fighting like enemies is the hardest thing to go through. All these people trying to stop us, telling us it's not worth it, saying we should move on, saying we should end it all. But they don't know that our friendship was once our guidance. They don't know the trust we had. They don't know what we've been through. It's, it's not, not easy, easy to let go. To forget everything. To push it all aside. It's, it's not easy to say we're fine. To say we're just tired. Knowing everything has changed. Through thick and thin, better and worse, happiness and sadness, sisters, all these memories are left behind. However, I'm stuck here wondering what happened. Three months into 2018 and already 17 school shootings, triggers are pulled, innocents are killed, and, and yet, yet it keeps, keeps going on like a carousel, carousel running, running in circles. circles. Left alone, no place to go. She's afraid of school, but she's also afraid of home. No other option other than to lay motionless as the man she calls daddy repeatedly rapes her and mama just stands idly by watching. A 13-year-old is left homeless, laying on the dirty floors of the metro. While they struggle, holding a sign that says, Mama told me to wait here, but that was three years ago. Be careful. Don't slip up. Never let them know about the abuse. Never let them know about the heroin. Never, Never let them know about your attempts. A child's picture is up on the pole in the local park playground across the street. It says, missing, along with a phone number. But, but it was taken down a week later. 49. 49 cuts. 49 days of suffering. 51, 51 more until he ends it all. One person commits suicide every 16.2 minutes because he can't deal with all the hatred. And the betrayal that life has given them. them. Freak. 
Why don't you just go kill yourself? Little do they know that he's suffering from a little chemical imbalance called clinical, clinical depression. depression. Whore! Little do they know that the only reason she's selling her body is, is to, to pay, pay for her, her brother's, brother's leukemia, leukemia treatments. treatments. The guns and the bombs, the rockets and the warships are all symbols of human failure. Lyndon, Lyndon B. Johnson. Johnson. Bombs and pistols do not make a revolution. The sword of a revolution is sharpened on, on the, the wedding stone of idea. But God sing. With guns, you can kill terrorists. But with education, you, you can, can kill, kill terrorism. terrorism. Bobby Umar. The world's hunger is getting ridiculous. There is more fruit in a rich man's shampoo than in a poor man's plate. Anonymous. So many people are aware of these events. They write quotes expecting us to make a difference. Yet, we don't. Maybe you just need to hold out hope and wait for all good to find you. You, you know, know what? what? Maybe, Maybe it won't. Maybe, Maybe you, you have, have to find, find it. it. Chapter one. I told her a secret. I promised to keep it. But that didn't happen. I was just trying to help. And after all the time we spent together eating Ben and Jerry's ice cream every Friday, you had chocolate. And you had cookie dough. Yet here I am, left grease stricken, stuck in a world of loneliness where I used to have company. All I have left is my Sean Mendes poster hanging on my wall and listening to R. No, my favorite tunes. I told her to keep the secret tucked between her lips, but it burned her insides and tumbled out onto my own hands, scorching my skin, and even my tears couldn't put out the fire. Chapter, Chapter two. 2. When we went ice skating at the old port, you asked me if we would be best friends forever. Forever seemed like more than an eternity in the innocent mind of a child. You tied my skates, sealed the deal. But maybe promises are meant to be broken. And just because something is broken doesn't mean that it's still unbreakable. My best friend wasn't the glass waiting to be shattered. She was a puzzle already in pieces. I was just trying to help. I thought, and if I tell you to do something and you do the opposite, how is that loyalty? Chapter, Chapter three, everybody, everybody makes mistakes. mistakes. But some are not meant to be forgiven. I want her to forgive me. I want it as bad as a dog begging for table scraps. I told people her situation so she would feel supported. I thought others could lift her higher, but it only left her falling to the ground. I'll only forgive her when I'm in a coffin with flowers resting on the earth on top of me. I want her to forgive me when the clock strikes midnight so we can start a new day on a new chapter of our friendship like we did that first day we met in preschool. I remember your outfit vividly. You were wearing a yellow skirt and a pink blouse. And you were wearing sparkly running shoes. Our, our young, young hearts, hearts were instantly, instantly bonding. bonding. I want to recreate that moment. But, but we, we both know, know that, that won't happen. happen. Chapter four. I'm sorry. That's not enough. What will be enough? It's you forgetting who I am so we can then part ways. Do you really want to leave our story on a cliffhanger? We should just end it completely. But I want our roads to meet in the middle. One path can be our past and the other a new beginning. There are no new beginnings. Final, Final chapter. chapter. Because, because when, when the, the clock strikes midnight, midnight, I want a new beginning. And I want an ending. And although I've tried, I, I guess, guess this is the, the end, end of our book. book unless, unless you're willing, willing to turn the page. I break every mirror I own. Sweep away the pain, yet it still manages to cut me deep into my skin. Now, now a part, part of my soul, a scar, but never to be told. Hey, hi, how are you? Uh, I'm good. Why are you lying? Huh? I see your scars. My blade is my therapy I wanted to tell, but never told. I didn't want to cry, but I always cried. I, I cried, cried a river. river. They tell me I'm beautiful, but my mirror shows otherwise. So, so which one, one of them, them is lying? lying? If I had their eyes, would I see what they see? My stomach, my nose, my, my thighs, thighs, my hips, my stretch marks, my, my appearance. Because self-exposure is what gets you more Instagram likes. But self-exposure is also what gets you called a hoe. How am I supposed to live with myself when, when no, no one, one else can? can? I went from being unknown to most known, but for all the wrong reasons. From unbothered to hated. I always had headaches. Now, now I, I am, am the headache. headache. I try and run, but shit, I'm no track star. I can't run forever, my legs get tired. Their opinions taunt me and, and chase me like a cheetah chases an elk. All their thoughts are now somehow running through my mind, but that doesn't stop me. So I put on my cleats, I don't run, I can't, but I take baby steps. Why can't you go away? I'm here to help you. Help me? Since when have you helped me? Hush! Just listen to me. Why should I listen to you when all you do is make me fail? I'm helping you obtain perfection. Like that time you advised me to suppress my appetite. I was trying to make you skinny, something you've always wanted. That's it. I'm done with you and your foolish ways. Done? We've only just begun perfecting you. I don't want to be perfected by you. I want to do something I've always wanted to do. Like what? Dance your heart out and let everyone judge you? But I love dancing. Hush, listen to me. I'm what's right, and whatever you think is just a fantasy. But why should I listen to you? Hush, you will do as you...
Hush, what makes you an idiot is not me, but your foolish heart and dreams. You'll never be anything, so just listen to me. Why should I listen to you? Hush, you will do as I say and sit there and not make a sound. Don't answer that question, even if you know the answer. Follow me, you'll make it through high school, and when you're done, you can lock yourself in a room and stay there forever and have no worries. I want to be someone, I want to do something, I don't want to be hushed anymore. Hush! No, I don't want to be hushed. I'm tired of giving up everything. I'm tired of you making me feel that every eye that stares my ways in a bad way. I'm tired of you making me feel hated by the whole world. Enough! No, it's not enough. I'm done with you and your ways. My ways are perfect, and you'll be too when I'm done with you. No, I'm done with you. I no longer will be hushed. I have a story to tell and I'm ready to spill it. Hush, you won't say anything at all. Hush. Excuse me? Hush. There's no point in hushing me. There's nothing out there for you. You don't own me, neither did those girls. You can say what you want to, but my ears are becoming immune to your venom. No one loves you. You know that, right? No one has ever loved you. How could they with you and your crazy ways? All those smiles from your friends were fake. You and those girls can chat it. I will do and think what I please. Why leave me? There's nothing out there for you. I'm the only one that cares about you. Hush, the past is the past. I'm coming back stronger than I've ever been. My dear, yes, you're right, but did you not realize I'm your owner for eternity? You can't get rid of me that easily. Hush, those girls used to get in my head. Strike me with hurtful words daily, but no, you know, don't you know what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? Where are you going with all this babbling? Hush, you'll be all right now that I'm leaving you. You say we're self-centered and selfish. You say we only care about ourselves. But you don't know us. We have kept, kept secrets, secrets deep in the, the ocean. ocean. We, we have told so many lies to protect those we love from ourselves. That we have mastered the skill you can't even see the pain in our eyes anymore. We've become so, so good, good at pretending and masking our emotions that we're, we're pros at it. We're not selfish, and you don't understand that the selfish one is you. The one we did everything for. The one we pretended to be okay for. The one we stayed alive for. The one we refused to hurt. Or even be the cause of your pain. We, we may be, be the youngest, youngest, but that doesn't make a difference. We still protect you from the inner us, the, the dark us, us, the scary us, us the, the us that we bottle, bottle up. up. But still, you don't see it. You mock us. You judge us. You call us names. You yelled at us. But we, but we don't, don't blame, blame you. you. But, but where were you when we were crying our eyes out like the pouring rain, when we were hurting ourselves, when we were scared and alone, when society told us we weren't good enough? When, when we, we made, made a deal, deal with, with the, the devil. devil. We were pushed away because we were outsiders. When the world got the best of us. When the stars that were once shining over our heads turned dull. Where, Where were you when we needed you the most? You were, were too, too busy, busy being, being caught up in your own world. world. You have every right to be mad at us for the days we gave in. For the, the days, days we were hurricanes destroying, destroying everything in our path. path. We let you down. We swear we wanted to tell you we really did. The first time we ever hurt ourselves, we know we should have told you. I should have told you that night. I should have told you that day, but we couldn't put you through it. We couldn't put that burden on you of having, having you worry about, about us night and day, day wondering if we're okay. okay. We couldn't be the chains around your neck. Pulling you deep down the ocean, only drowning you in our sorrows. You guys said you would protect us from the bullies. You protected us from the bullies at school. But, but where, where were you when the bullies were at home? When they said we were worthless a disgrace, you didn't look at us. You looked at them. You took their side. You, you defended, defended them, them as though they were the victims and we were the attackers. As though we were the ones in the wrong and you left us on a path to destruction. You, you abandoned, abandoned us when we needed, needed you the most. most. We looked for you everywhere, but you never appeared. We cried out your name, but you never answered. We, we protected, protected you. you. But yet again, how were you supposed to know? We forgive you for not being there. We, we don't, don't blame you. you. And now we leave you with some thoughts that we wanted you to know. That, that our love knows no bounds, bounds that, that we will always stand by you. That I'm proud to call you my big sister. That I'm proud to call you my older brothers. We, we know, know that we, we will never truly, truly be alone as long, long as you are there. there. You will always be our first friend. And love us no matter what. Because, because that's, that's what, what siblings, siblings do. do. Dear, Dear self, this, this is, is for you. you. For all the times you made me believe, I was on the faulty path. Leading me onto your tracks, where the in and incorrect seemed to be in disguise, and the wrong seemed right. She who doesn't know what choices to make, tied up in denial and too fearful to break through. Locked up in a steel metal room, the idealistic perception to think can no longer be grasped. Do, do I, I try, try to escape, or do I let things fall in place? Torn between divergent ideas, one leading to the misfortune of the past while the other leads to the incomparable future. Do, do I fight or do I give in? Cluttered with countless amounts of never-ending intentions, the ability to choose disintegrated, evaporated from existence. Do, do 
Do I try to find it, or do I let it be? The ropes tighten around my body, squeezing my thin, frail skin. The metal room makes its way, starting to close in. My eyes steadily shut as my brain stops its function. Contradictions, Contradictions will come out to play soon. Rutted trails flash through the haze. A roller coaster with no restraints. Like a swarm of flustered butterflies forming turbulences of commotion, with strokes of serendipity. Captivated, yet waiting to be discharged. Anxiety is the anchor to safety, my dear. Clashes of waves we do Not all sing together. We were all discarded off different ships to begin with. Don't drown into the skiff of despair, for they're the ones who paddle you into the darkness. Instead, soar through the jet of satisfaction, the wind with the strength you will arise from, the one, one blowing you into the successful direction, my dear. You cannot remain still in an alternative dimension only to keep your trepidation caged and your euphoria loose with no audacity to walk into a superior portal. You cannot surrender in the middle of a haunted house only to keep your words caged and your shrieks loose with no torch to guide you through a jam cacophony. Silently, I've made my way through into your thin caved head just like the flowers which begin to desiccate with no exposure to glee. Watching, Watching everybody enjoy this very roller coaster. Once more on the crested hills, waiting, waiting for, for the, the severe, severe drop where the butterflies will rise up again in my stomach. Looking down on a loop, complex loop of tracks that we've in and, in and out, out, over and under, stranded, stranded on an old wooden ride, or just as much onto a 300 feet twister, beaming through the stars you aspire to reach. Are those which are glued onto the ceiling of your room only glowing in the darkness within? As the anger expands into something bigger, trembling through these words, fighting with the inner conscience that lies beneath you, a tremor within every single one. The words which can no longer be spoken, only quiver inside my brain. Everything, everything that, that surrounds, surrounds you caves in. in. Using the surface of my fist, striking at that very wall, which now resembles a punching bag as the blood trickles beneath. Clustered with the images which cannot be erased, the moments they'll repeat themselves. Until it takes one last strike to vanish, vanish everything. everything. I am the secret that you cannot dare to utter. A sea of perception fills my eyes and the rejection maintains in mind. We may not reflect mirror images, like parallel lines that never meet. But through thick and thin, we have symmetrical objectives. Our solutions never seem to be equivalent, but our final answers always seem to be constant. Green lights may be the easy way out, but flaws will always linger in my engine, and catastrophe is bound to cure. Red lights may be the longer way out, but motivation still stands at the yellow light. Stop signs are meant to prevent, yet after a few seconds, I accelerate. Turn on your sirens, become the shooting star you are meant to be. Where your roller coaster pulls the lever, release the butterflies, allow them to fly. Beyond the uneven beyond hills, the dark sea, beyond the night sky, beyond, beyond the boundary of choices and thoughts that were preventing from escaping, from escaping the towering walls, you built yourself. We take the form of three, but we stand as one. Sincerely, the ones who stopped your flower from blooming into something you're always meant to be, my dear. Your program has been interrupted by the Montreal Police Department due to the disappearance of Ariel Jeffrey Cook, who March 12, 2018, Amber Alert, Alert has, has been, been initiated. initiated. We would appreciate your participation in the ongoing search for this 10-year-old boy by volunteering your time to help the investigation. We have enough volunteers. There, there are, are never enough, enough volunteers. volunteers. It wouldn't matter. All things point to him being dead. Nothing, Nothing points, points to, to him being, being dead. dead. Trudeau only cares about the millions of children who are missing. About the millions of children who are safe, but not the ones who are missing. No, no one cares, cares about us missing kids. kids. Want to know, know how we know? know? Because you left us on the streets. Under, under bridges, bridges and ditches. In plastic bags and six feet under our own homes. Yet you have the audacity to bury us with beloved. It was you who left us to die in the first place. You were the ones who gave up on us when our hearts were still beating. Faster, Faster than, than a missing person's person report can be filed. You were the ones who gave up on us when we were chained in our neighbor's houses and starved for days. You were the ones who gave up on us because apparently we drowned in the river. But our bodies will soon float to the surface anyways. Just like how witnesses float to the surface. And evidence pointing to our tragic demise. It's a tale as old as time. Even politicians use us. Slap our corpses on billboards saying, Vote Stephanie Plant. Vote Justin Trudeau. Vote Stephen Harper. Vote Philippe Couillard. 
because we promise that that'll never, never happen to you. Not, not because, because they, promised they promised that would never happen to us. Lie. Not because they promised they would keep us safe. So, so suck, suck on, on that, Madam Mayor. You should be proud of yourself. You men should draw black kids' blood while lighting up the Jacques Gautier Bridge. Yet somehow we see it all over your hands. Because, because we, we all know, know red blood cleans and stains white skin. skin. Missing kids are no broken tools to be used for your personal gain. You, you cannot, cannot piece together, together the puzzle pieces of the future generation. With one missing. You, you cannot, cannot rid yourself of a link in the grand chain of things. Because then your bike won't work. And we won't be able to move forward. But right now, it doesn't look like we are going anywhere. Because, because we are stuck on a ride set to crash before we can reach our destination. destination. Someone removed the link from our bike, forcing us to take the train that is bound to crash before the alert could even end. We cannot rewrite past mistakes into fantasies. So, so because, because of tragedies and, and soliloquies, our ghosts will forever haunt you. Ariel will forever haunt you. We will not let your memory of us be merely an amber alert. Humans without humanity are the equivalent of birds being caged. They were meant to fly, were they not? Because with each day a feather falls. A bird dies. A bell chimes. A fairy dies. They, they all seem to lose their wings. So this is how freedom dies. We, we seem to forget the importance of fairy tales because what once was an event turned into a story. Turned into a rumor. Turned into a legend. Turned into a myth. A gilded petal falls. The clock strikes midnight. The apple is made. The spinning wheel is cursed. Time himself has turned back this minute to remind me of what I have done. To feel the eternal pain of guilt and suffering to be passed down like a vial of poison from generation to generation until it ceases to exist. Until the winds are but a ticking time bomb waiting to explode. Waiting for you to lower your guard. To force their way into your head. To to turn you against, against yourself. yourself. Anyone can betray anyone. People would make your death look like an accident to get money. Humans would watch you drown as their popularity increases past the six digit numbers. Selfishness, Selfishness is how their species thrives. thrives. Because their breasts are but a coffin of lies waiting to be believed. So, so you, you can, can sink into your own shadow and become the abyss that lives under a child's, child's bed. bed. So you must look without seeing. Blinded by shadows, you, you say nothing, you, you hear, hear nothing. nothing. Even the sun bleeds over the loss of our humanity. humanity. We bleed from each and every one of our pores and cover it with an endless amount of lies. So no one would see through the mask we call kindness. Never, Never believe in illusion. A projectile of what you want to see can be crossed with what you fear. What turns it to what you need. We, we seem, seem to forget to look between the lines of storybooks for the embedded messages of what our future holds for us. But no one will ever notice because we, we hunt, hunt, we kill. The merciless savages called humans have taken over the world. But it is too late. We, we have already lost the battles between the wars of imagination and reality. And in reality, humanity died a long time ago. Once upon a time. Every Friday night we bake a cake. Bonsoir. Don't talk to me, I think to myself as she scans the items. Set des trente, I hand her the money. Always exact change. She scans the items and just like that, transaction complete. My buddies are nervously waiting in the back of the parking lot, dressed head to toe in black clothing in case we get seen. We're shaking. We can't tell whether it's from the cold or our nerves. Let's go big boys! We're ecstatic, blood pumping through our veins faster than ever before. We line up across from the house. Standing on the median, blankly staring at it. We look over at each other. It's right there, so close yet so far, like if we reached out, we could barely touch it. We take a deep breath in, deep breath out, and release our egg at the same time as we release our breath. Walk up to the house, egg in hand. Take it out of my pocket. Pull my arm back, extend it, and bang! I don't know what's louder. The sound of the egg splooging on the window, my heart beating in my ears, creating a fast-paced beat for my footsteps. Catch my friends and say, don't stop until we get to the tracks. An intense feeling of fear and thrill. Every Friday night we bake a cake. Walking to the park for children, everyone's a little bit nervous, but we load up with eggs anyways. I was told to start running, but I whip my three eggs as they splooge all over the selected target. I start running, my heart beating so loud, but all I can hear is the fear hidden behind the laughter as everyone else as we run towards the track. Every Friday night we bake a cake. As I continue running, I come across a sign saying, Jean-Pierre. I did not bother to read the rest. As I tomahawk kick the sign and continue running, every Friday night, we bake a cake. This tradition has brought us closer together. Some people call us a crime syndicate. We are just brothers roaming through the night looking for our next adrenaline rush. We have shared laughs, our fears, and have been scared together. And that is why... Every, Every Friday, Friday night, night we, we bake, bake a cake. cake. Dear United America, 
This one goes out to you. Can you count the victims? Can you count the guns? The, the bullets you were taught to duck from before you could even read? read? Stephen Clark, 33. He was on his phone when shots were fired, I'm sure. His daughter misses him. They handcuffed his lifeless body as if his complexion still made him a threat. Don't you know? Black skin is not made of steel. You didn't need 20 bullets to take him down. The cops said they were fearing for their safety. 20 bullets isn't fear, my friend. It's, it's rage. rage. Be honest when I ask, would this, would this have happened, happened if Stephen was white? white? School shooters, concert shooters, church shooters, those are the scary ones. Not a young black father standing in his very own backyard. We, we have, have lives, you know. We, we have families, you know. know. It should not be. It really is not your right to take those things away from us. Not with chokeholds, not with suffocation, not with your Walmart bought guns. Not, not with, with your, your white privilege, privilege not, not with, with anything. anything. You throw shame on anyone who honors our lives. They were bad people. Shame on you. They had their hoods on. Shame on you. Their skin was black. Shame, shame on you. you. Police are supposed supposed to keep us safe, but who do you call when they murder? Please tell me what number should have been called when 12-year-old Tamir Rice was shot in the park. Please tell me which officer I should have run to when Philando Castile was murdered in his own car. Please, Please tell us what to do when cops are the ones doing the killing. killing. White students are afraid of being gunned down in school. Black students are afraid of being gunned down in school. And their backyards. And their cars. And at parks. And, and in, in their, their own, own homes. homes. Is the issue clear yet? How, How much, much longer until we become the victims? victims? No, I don't get gunned down. No, I don't get harassed by the police. But I do suffer because of the pigment I was born with. These, These are, are our people, people as, as much, much as they, they are yours. And this is the reality. As a, as a decent, decent human being, being, I feel guilt and empathy for those whose lives were taken instead of mine as, as a, a decent, decent human, human being, being i feel helpless though i should be helping and, and you, you should, should too we protested when trayvon was murdered we protested when philando castillo was murdered we protested when michael brown was murdered we protested when tamir rice was murdered but protest, protest after, after protest, protest still doesn't, doesn't seem, seem to, to stop, stop us from getting, getting gunned down, down. pigmented 10 year old ariel jeffrey went missing on march 12 2018. They called off his Amber Alert soon after it started because police claimed it didn't fit the criteria so tell me what's the criteria then being, being white, white Though we're Canadian and we're not directly affected by a lot of America's ignorance, we're part of the, the next, next generation, generation with tinted, tinted skin, skin and it makes us worry for the lives we're going to live. The United States are our neighbors and though we don't have states, we're far more united than they are. Do you expect me not to care? Do you expect me to just sit back and watch as the, the number, number of deaths of my, of my race increases and increases, increases as the number of those, those living decreases? decreases? Can you count the victims? Can you count the bullets? The 20 and... Steven? The seven in Philando? The two in Tamir? The ones who hit the next victim? Know their names. I know their names. Say their names. Philando Castile, Tamir Rice, Michael Brown. And Stephen Clark, the one that was just shot down. Realize, Realize that, that their lives, lives matter too. Do, Do our, our lives, lives matter, matter to you? Dear America, you don't, don't seem, seem so united, united to me. me.